Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what I call a beverage breakdown. It is time to do some recycling and I noticed I'm recycling multiples of the same thing, which must mean that thing is really, really good for us to keep on buying it. So I'm going to be doing the category of drinks today. So if you would like to see what beverages we have been sipping on repeat in this household and why, then just keep on watching. Okay, the first beverage that started this idea was the fact that I have multiple boxes of this pucker, organic, nighttime tea. I'm sure there's more, but you get the idea. I've been through multiple, multiples of these nighttime tea because they are absolutely delicious. So they are described as a dreamy bed of oat flour, lavender and lime flour and they don't have a strong flavour but they're really delicious, not overly lavendery. I don't really taste lavender if you're not a lavender fan. They put me in a relaxed zone, get me ready as part of my wind down. I will have one of these most nights before I go to bed. It's part of my ritual. It's delicate, delicious, relaxing. Always, always got these. Got two more fresh packs um, in my stash ready to go because they're just part of my bedtime ritual and I love them. So here's what they look like. They come in packs of 20 and they are £3.45 or $5.19 for a pack of 20. Do you have a favourite nighttime drink? If so, please let me know down below in the comments. Sticking with Pucker. Another really nice drink, again caffeine free that they make, is the Vanilla Chai Organic Infusion. Now this is just a bit spicy but not too spicy, really warming, a lovely cosy cold weather hot drink for an afternoon if you don't want more caffeine. Vanilla and chai, really, really tasty, a little bit spicy and just so cosy again. Same, similar-ish price to the lavender oat flour. So that's it for my caffeine-free hot drinks. Do you have any other favourite caffeine-free hot drinks? If so, please let me know down below because I can't have too much caffeine. I'll go on to the caffeinated ones though and also sticking with tea. If I am going to drink tea, I love Earl Grey tea. I thought normal tea was boring. Then one of my friends introduced me to Earl Grey and I was hooked. I particularly love the French Earl Grey from T2. They are the tea bags. They do these great kind of pyramid tea bags or you can get the loose leaf and it comes in a foil seal bag and you can put it in a pack. It takes everything that I love about Earl Grey to a whole nother level. So Earl Grey gets a French twist which is also fruity. A medium bodied black tea base with pretty petals. It even does look pretty. It's got real petals in the tea. And notes of fruit that play with classic bergamot in an inspiring, bold, refined infusion. It's got mallow flowers in. Love, love, love as a treat. This one is £9 for 25 tea bags. It is $13 for the 25 tea bags. I don't just love tea, I am also a coffee lover. I love just a cafetiere, French press. I love any coffee, just as long as it's the ground coffee. I'll make it most mornings. Here I just have a Nero coffee, which is around £3. I am not fussy as long as it is ground coffee. I keep it in the fridge to keep it really fresh and that is my morning ritual that I do at home. What's your favourite type of coffee? Please do let me know down below how you make your coffee. It is the Cupsmith individual hot chocolate spoons. I'll show you one that I haven't used yet. This is a chocolate orange. You can also get it in milk or plain. So as you can see, you've got the block of chocolate attached to the spoon and you just stir it into warm milk. These are £2.75 and the Cupsmiths company that makes these will ship to America. These work out at around $3.27 and yeah, about $10 minimum shipping over to the US. Now, of course, you can just melt any type of chocolate into hot milk. However, I just like the novelty of having this attached to a spoon. It makes it easier to kind of stir in. We love this. We put little vegan marshmallows on the top. 
cozy, cozy, indulgent treat, cold drinks. A staple in this house is the Dash waters. Now these are cool because they're made with wonky fruit. So they're reducing fruit waste and it is just sparkling water flavoured with fruit. I got the mixed pack which has in the lemon, raspberry and black currants as well as peaches. This contains 16 cans and it costs $22.99 but Dash do have an offer on at the moment 50% off your first order so maybe try one from the supermarket they sell them in Waitrose for around a pound for a can and then maybe stock up if you really like them. Victoria Beckham, often seen with a dash water. Don't be fooled, it doesn't replace your classic kind of fizzy drinks or sodas. My boyfriend and all of his friends have turned their nose up at these and rejected them because they wanted a Fanta or a Coke. But if you just want fruit flavoured water, they are amazing. I don't think they are widely available in the US, but they are like our UK equivalent of... LaCroix fruit flavoured waters. Love, love, love. I think my favourite might be the lemon ones. And sticking with sparkling waters, we get through tons of the San Pellegrino waters. You can get a big bottle for around a pound or a dollar. I don't love sparkling water on its own. I love lemon or lime squeezed into this. This is the only water my boyfriend will drink um, because he says the rest aren't fizzy enough. He's not a massive diva, but he has some digestion issues and he says this is the only water that really, really helps settle his stomach. So we get through many of these. And last but not least, we have, well, I say we, I have got through <laughs> over a period of time, 70 silliliters of the 1800 silver tequila. So in the UK, this bottle is £33, often goes on offer at Waitrose, down to 26 I'll put that link below, you can keep a look out for that. And in the US, this is £24.99 for 750 mils. It's me really that drinks this when we have cocktail night. My boyfriend doesn't love tequila-based cocktails. He is more of a vodka or a rum guy, but he makes me a mean margarita with this stuff and some triple sec lime juice and of course salt margarita my favorite cocktail of all time and he makes it perfect so there may be more of these in my future and that is all my drinks empties so now i want to hear from you what drinks get drunk on repeat at your home and why i'd love to know down below in the comments that's everything from me today and i will see you in the next video Cheers. Oh, this is raspberry. Mm.